గ్రీటింగ్స్ హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు పెట్టకా టెక్నాలజీస్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ విల్ కవర్ ది బేసిక్స్ ఆఫ్ ది సమ్మెక్స్ ఫంక్షన్ ఇట్ సింటెక్స్ అండ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ హౌ టు యూజ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ పవర్ బిఐ ది సమ్మెక్స్ ఫంక్షన్ ఇస్ అ పవర్ఫుల్ అగ్రిగేషన్ ఫంక్షన్ దట్ అలోస్ యూ టు కాల్కులేట్ ది సమ్ ఆఫ్ అన్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ evaluated for each row in a table let me explain you with an example in this data source we have two columns quantity and price in sales table go to the table tools and select new column to create a new calculated column then calculate the total sales amount by multiplying the quantity and price for each row in the sales table rename this column as total and write the dax to calculate the total sales amount select sum x function in dax to calculate the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in a table the sumx function in dax is used to return the sum of quantity and price column values the syntax for the sumx function is table comma expression sumx starts by selecting the table specified in the function example we choose sales table comma sum x iterates over each row in the selected table one row at a time for each row sum x evaluates the expression specified in the function example choose quantity column and in power bi we use asterisk symbol to multiply two column values and choose price column from sales table close the parenthesis commit this calculates the total sales amount by multiplying the quantity and price for each row in the sales table this expression is calculated for each row and resulting in a value for each row finally sum x adds up the values calculated for each row then those values are summed up to produce the result the final sum is returned as the result of the sum x function let me explain you clearly sum x iterates over each row row 1 2 into 10 row 2 3 into 20 row 3 4 into 30 first row result is 20 second row result is 60 third row result is 120 then it adds up the result of each row 20 plus 60 plus 120 is equal to 200 the result of the sum x function is 200 which is the sum of the calculated values for each row now you can try using sum x with different tables and columns in your power bi reports remember practice makes perfect don't be afraid to try new things and make mistakes thank you so much for watching i hope you found this helpful and informative If you want to learn more about Power BI and DAX, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tutorials, tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below with any suggestions or questions on future videos. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video.